one. Hello, guys, and welcome to Pre-Vocational. It's so great to be here with y'all, even though we are not in person, but we are virtual learning, and it feels good to be back with y'all. Okay, today we are going to talk about safety signs. That's a really good thing to know because um, being out in the community, being in school, when we go back to school uh, in person, these signs will be very meaningful to you. So we are going to be able to identify several safety signs, understand several safety signs, how safety signs operate in today's society, and also recognizing several safety signs. Okay, guys, I am so excited to get started with this lesson. So let's go on. Okay, so let's talk about the steps to critical thinking and problem solving. The first thing you need to do is that you need to listen to the question, okay? Because when you listen, you will understand what the question is asking. Second, you're going to listen to all your answer choices, okay? You're not going to try to take the first answer and say, yeah, yeah, that's the answer. We want to listen to all of them to make a, a good choice, okay? Third, we want to think about your choices. You want to think, say, is this the <clears throat> best choice for the question? So you might want to do some critical thinking. Um, number four, the answer the question by choosing one of the answer's choices. Okay, you can only choose one. You can't choose two, only one, because one is the logic of the correct answer to that question. Next. Okay, so we talked about critical thinking and problem solving. So we're going to practice here with some questions. For example, a question, this is the question here. What is an example of a stop sign? Okay, we have three choices here. So is a stop sign a shoe or is a stop sign, a, the stop sign that says S-T-O-P, which means stop, or is a stop sign candy, okay? So you would think about the question, you would think about your choices, and then you would make the appropriate choice for that question. And another question is, what is an example of a railroad crossing sign? With the railroad crossing sign, we know it's the two R R. It doesn't spell out the words, but it does give you the first level of the words. So, is a railroad crossing a doll? Hmm. Is a railroad crossing a big yellow sign that has two R's, or is a a railroad sign a female, a girl? Another question is. What is an example of exit sign? Is an exit sign a apple? That's one of your choices. Or is it a sign that has red letters that says exit? Or is it toys? So you want to think about it. Okay, now we're going to get into our anticipatory set, okay? Here we are going to learn about safety signs. It's going to help us understand and safety signs in a more clear and precise way. Let's talk about community and safety signs. Look at this sign that says exit. Exit means the way out. If we're in a building and we want to know how to get out, we just look for the exit sign. That way, we know that that door is the door we use to leave the building. Exit. 
the way out. <clears throat> Look at the sign. That sign says poison. Poison is something that can make us very, very sick. We never touch something that's marked poison, and we never put it in our mouth. Poison can make us very, very sick. We never touch it, and we never put it in our mouth. Poison. Look at the sign. It says, keep out. Keep out means do not go inside. If we go inside and the sign says keep out, something bad might happen. We could possibly get hurt. Or we could get in trouble. Keep out. It means do not go inside. Look at the sign. The sign says stop. Stop means stop walking. You have to stop when you see the stop sign. Before you can start walking again, you have to check and make sure there are no cars coming. First, you look to the left. And then you look to the right. If there are no cars, then you can step into the crosswalk. Walk across the street, walk across the street, walk across the street. Now you've crossed the street safely. If you're walking down the street and you see this sign, you have to stop. You have to look both ways and make sure there are no cars before you can cross the street. Look at the sign. That sign says pedestrian crossing. Pedestrian crossing means it's okay to cross the street there. But before you cross the street, you have to stop and look to the right. And then look to the left. If there are no cars coming, then you can step into the crosswalk and walk across the street. Walk across the street. Walk across the street. Good. Now we've made it across the street safely. Pedestrian crossing. It means... It's okay to cross the street there after you've checked and make sure there are no cars coming. Look at this sign. The sign says hospital. H for hospital. We go to the hospital. If we get hurt, we go to the hospital if we get very sick. And women who are going to have a baby will go to the hospital. Hospital. 
It's where we go when we need help, when we get hurt or sick. Look at the sign that says fire extinguisher. A fire extinguisher puts out fire. Look at this sign, fire extinguisher, when there's a fire. Yes, we can use a fire extinguisher to put out the flames of the fire. Fire extinguisher. It's used to put out fire. Look at this sign. It says danger. Danger means it's not safe. If you see the danger sign, do not go inside. You see the danger sign, don't go near that area. It could be unsafe. You might get hurt. Danger, it means not safe. Do not go in there. Look at the sign. That sign says, no trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. Then you see this sign. Do not go in there. Because someone might call the police and you can get in big trouble. No trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. That means do not go in there, because if you do, the police will be called and you can get in big trouble. Look at this sign. This sign says, Railroad Crossing. If you see a railroad crossing... And the signal lights are flashing on and off, on and off. That means watch out. A train is coming. Railroad crossing. That means be careful and watch out for oncoming trains. Look at the sign. This sign means wheelchair accessible. Wheelchair accessible means that the wheelchair can get in and out of that area. Wheelchair accessible, it means that wheelchairs can get in and out of this area. Look at the sign. It says, danger, flammable. Flammable means that it can catch on fire very easily. When we see the danger, flammable sign, we know not to have anything hot nearby, like a cigarette, or a lit match because that could start a fire. Danger flammable means keep hot things away so we don't start a fire. Look at the sign. It says, caution, slippery when wet. When you see this sign, be careful. It means that the floor is wet, and if you are not careful, you can slip on the water 
and fall down and hurt yourself. Caution, slippery when wet, means be careful. Someone mop the floor and it's wet. And if you don't step carefully, you could fall down and hurt yourself. Good job learning about community and safety signs. Okay, guys, that was a lot of information. That was a whole lot. So don't be uh, discouraged that you, you have to learn everything this week. We are going to extend this safety signs um, for the upcoming week. So we are going to really um, focus on this and really get the um, knowledge about being safe. Okay, so based on the anticipatory set, what do you think we will learn about today? Okay, will we learn about eating? Will we learn about safety signs? Or will we learn about playing soccer? These are your choices. So when you get ready to answer a question, you're going to really take your time listening to the question, listen to the choices, and then pick your answer. Okay, the repeated storyline is, I need to know safety signs to stay safe, okay? So the vocabulary uh, safety sign words that we will learn is pedestrian walking, bike riding sign, meaning in that particular area, that's where you need to ride your bike to stay safe. Uh, also, we're gonna learn about the stop sign, meaning if you are walking your community, uh, if you are out and about, um, you are going to come to a stop sign. You are going to look at the stop sign and you are going to make sure it's safe by looking both ways. So these are some of the um, vocabulary, but this lesson will go on for the next couple of weeks and we will really get into knowing these signs and many other signs. Okay, also let's talk about the KWL chart, okay? And uh, that deals with safety signs, okay? So the K stands for what I know, I mean, the things that you already know. For example, you already know that you must stop at a stop sign, okay? And what I wonder, when you think about what I wonder, that means you're thinking. You think about what else can I learn from this lesson? So. We're gonna learn about that as well. Okay, so let's um, first go to, and also we're gonna talk about what I learned. Okay, so you, with us doing this lesson, you are gonna learn a whole, whole lot. So don't feel like you have to learn everything in one week or one day. We are gonna uh, tackle this in the upcoming weeks. For example, what I know, like we said, uh, you see safety signs when you're riding in your car. You also see safety signs when you are walking. So these two things, these two ways of seeing safety signs, is like when you're riding a vehicle, when you're walking. So you get to see some signs, and they are familiar with you, and they're going to be more familiar with these signs as we go through this lesson. Okay, what I wonder, I mean, what you think about, uh, what signs do I see when I'm outside of my home, like uh, outside of school or inside of school? So these are the things you wonder about. Okay, what do that sign mean? Do that sign mean I can walk? Or do that sign mean it's slippery? Or do that sign mean that I can go in the girl's bathroom if I am a girl or go in the boy's bathroom if I am a boy? So you will see these signs and they'll become very familiar as you see them on a regular basis. Okay, this week we are going to learn about safety signs once again. And this is an exciting lesson because it helps you to understand what signs are. It also helps you to stay safe, and we want to stay safe. So we're going to listen to this video, 
about this story about traffic signs and rules. Again, we can see the signs, we can know what they mean, and sometimes we don't know what they mean. Or we know what sun signs mean and we know what sun signs don't mean. So we're going to learn, learn what the signs we don't know and we're going to get um, more knowledge on the signs we do know. So let's listen to this video. Hey Elvis, yesterday a traffic police stopped my dad and asked to pay fine. My dad paid the fine, but I'm not sure why he did so. Your dad must have broken a traffic rule. A traffic rule? What is it? Traffic rules are the rules implied by the government of a country for the safety of the people on the road. Traffic rules help people to drive in a disciplined manner. Please, could you tell me more about traffic rules? Sure, why not? To learn about traffic rules, let us go out. The most important part of the traffic rules is the traffic light. Traffic light guides people when to stop or slow down or proceed their vehicles. The traffic light consists of three colors. Red means stop. Green means go. And yellow means slow down your vehicle. Also, there is a signal for people crossing the road. Red man sign on the signal means stop. Green man sign on the signal means go. Now, let us walk towards the school. What does that 20 sign board indicate? That's a speed limit board. It says 20. That means the vehicles should maintain a speed of 20 kilometers per hour while driving. What does that horn sign and capital P sign with a strike and a school sign indicate? That horn sign with a strike indicates that you should not honk unless it is necessary. Also, capital P sign with a strike indicates that you should not park your vehicle near the school. While the school sign indicates that the driver should watch carefully and drive slowly as there is a school nearby. Oh, now I get it. Why there are no vehicles parked besides my school? Vehicles are parked only where there is a capital P signboard. You should park properly at the given space or else traffic police will impose a fine. I don't understand why that capital U sign is inverted. That's a sign to indicate that you can take a U-turn from here. If there is a strike on it, it indicates you should not take a U-turn. Oh, I get it. What are those lines and the line next to it meant for? That's a good question, Jimmy. It is a zebra crossing. When the signal turns green for walking, people walk on it to get on the other side of the road. And the line before it indicates that the vehicles should be stopped before the line. Some more traffic rules you need to know are... We should wear helmet while riding a bike. We should wear seat belts while riding a car. We should cross the road only when the signal is green for walking. We should not cross the railing, instead use the zebra crossing.
we should walk only on the footpath jimmy if you take care of these rules you will stay safe on the roads thanks for the information elvis now i know why the traffic police charged a fine to my dad as he had parked his vehicle where there was a board with a capital p sign and a strike on it that's great jimmy now let's get home before it's dark wow that was a lot of information i got excited because it touched bases on a lot of um stuff a lot of information that would be very helpful in a daily um, our daily interaction okay and i found it to be really really knowledgeable especially when riding my bike that i must have a helmet okay so let's move on um again we are going back to our questions about um about safety signs again we looked at the video um we listened to the information and we watched the information so let's talk about the questions um based on what we heard what we seen we going to uh, talk about um these safety signs the first question is and i need my yes no cars and i don't have my yes no cars in front of me so okay so the question is what is an example of a railroad crossing sign is it a dog a big circle with a x in the middle with two r's or is it a woman you are correct if you said it was the circle with the r's and a big x give yourself a hand yeah Wow, y'all did such a terrific job answering that question. So now I am going to, uh, we are going to listen and look at this video that also talks about safety signs. Since we are getting so good, we want to pump ourselves up by listening to this video.
Make sure to subscribe for more videos and we'll see you next time. Okay, so we are back. That was a little pick me up so we could continue with the lesson. Okay, the second question is, what is an example of an exit sign? Do, a, do that mean an exit sign is an apple? An exit sign above a door? Or do exit sign mean toys? Okay. I'm so proud of y'all. Yes, it means the exit sign above a door. Y'all are really good at this. You are learning so much more. So let wow, we did so good on that question. Okay, for reward, let's listen to another video that talks about safety signs. Safety signs. Many signs help us be safe. Here is a traffic light. Red tells us to stop. Green tells us to go. This sign has four sides. It tells us to look out for deers. This sign has four sides to it help us get to the hospital. This sign tells us that people are working on the road. It tells us to be careful. This sign tells us to be careful too. This sign has many sides. It tells us to look out for trains. This sign has five sides. It tells us to watch for school children. This sign has eight sides. It tells cars to stop. Now the children can go. What safety signs did you see in this book? All right, that was really good. That was a refresher. So let's do our last question. What is an example of a stop sign? Is it a pair of tennis shoes? Is it a sign that has the word stop, but it's a big red sign? Or is it candy? If you said the big red sign, the big red sign with the word stop in the middle, you are correct. Give yourself a hand. Yay! That was great, guys. Y'all did an outstanding job with these questions, listening and looking at the videos, and your participation was on point. Okay. Steps to understanding connections. Okay. We connect a whole lot of things with safety signs, so we will have a clear understanding of safety, safety signs. Excuse me. Okay, we talked about uh, the, what is safety signs, what they mean, and how they look. Okay, so to make this connection, first we must understand and listen to the lesson. Number two, how does this apply in the school? It can all, and also, number three, how does this apply in the community? As well as, number four, how does this apply in the world? Okay, so we're making this connection. So the first connection is school. So let's um, see what school says. Hi kids, get ready to learn some school zone road signs. Are you ready? Here they come. Speed limit 35 and the school zone. School crossing. School zone.
zone. School zone. 35 miles per hour. School hours. School. Photo enforced. 20 miles per hour. School crossing. School. Speed limit 20 on school days when children are present. School bus stop ahead. School crossing. No right turn on red when children are present. State law. Stop for pedestrians within crosswalk. Speed radar. School bus stop ahead. School. No passing. 15 miles per hour. School in session. Fines doubled. Slow. Student crossing. Stop. Children crossing. Safe passage. School. Speed limit 20 during restricted hours. Stop for children and crosswalk. Hope you had fun learning all the schools on road signs. Like and subscribe for more educational videos. Bye. Wow, that was very helpful. Okay, let's move on to the uh, uh, connection with communities. Let's talk about community and safety signs. Look at this sign. That says exit. Exit means the way out. If we're in a building and we want to know how to get out, we just look for the exit sign. That way, we know that that door is the door we use to leave the building. Exit, the way out. Look at the sign. That sign says poison. Poison is something that can make us very, very sick. We never touch something that's marked poison, and we never put it in our mouth. Our mouth. Poison. Look at the sign. It says, keep out. Keep out means do not go inside. Wow, that was good to see signs again about community uh, safety signs. So let's move on to world signs, um, signs that uh, you may see in another world versus here in the United States.
have a great day and I'll see you next time.